All right, talk for a second. Why? 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 Because we're checking things. Why? We have to check it. No. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Jason Explains Things. Uh, this is my daughter Marley, if you've seen her before, she's done a couple videos with me. Say hi. Hi. Hi, okay. Uh, well, my daughter Marley and I have a fun, laid back, Volkswagen theme project for you all today. Uh, Marley is out of school um, because of current events, like many of you all might be. So Marley's doing homeschool, of course, but uh, today we're gonna take a little break from that and do a fun project on my 2014 Jetta Sportwagon TDI. Marley and I are going to show you how to do an oil change on this uh, Mark VI TDI, so you can uh, watch this for that as well, the oil you'll use and the filter. What was that? Huh? Also, we're gonna fix something that, uh, that Marley caused, but it was an accident. So what was that? I broke an air vent. She put her foot through an air vent in the on the back seat. So we're gonna show how to fix that. So we're gonna finish this video out with getting this awesome family car, all shiny, and we're gonna do it with power. Okay, you say we should get started with the oil change? Sure. All right, let's do it. Bomb. Boom. Let's take a look at what we got here, Marley. So we're gonna be using liquid molly. Awesome oil, I got getting it from uh, Deutsche Auto Parts. They're my favorite uh, Volkswagen show, our store. She's making fun of me, it makes me distracted. Um, also, they have an awesome YouTube channel covering a lot of Mark 7 stuff. A lot of good GTI videos, so check them out. So yeah, we have oil from them. And then we also have a new oil filter. So let's take a look. So we're gonna have to remove our cover to start. Cool. Okay, do you want to carry this? If you look down right here, that is the oil filter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to use a large socket that unscrews that, that would pull that out. But what- It's so complicated. It is, that's a, yeah. This is the dipstick. That's the dipstick, yep. You wanna pull, wanna go set that aside too? I'm not gonna hold it, I'm the oily. <laughs> All right, let's grab our oil extractor. You wanna stick this tube which is already a little drippy, just push it down that hole. Yeah, like right there. Cool. So you're gonna pump this up and down and you're gonna actually see the oil start to come out in this tube and it'll drain all into there. Okay, keep going. Like keep pumps. going, yep, it's coming down. It there it like goes. Farts. It doesn't sound like, well, maybe it sounds like farts. Put your foot on it. Step. Pumpity, pumpity, pump. <laughs> My glove's stuck. Oh no. Once you create that suction, it's gonna keep going and we're gonna be draining out probably about, well, what's the? All of it. Probably about five liters or so. Cool thing about this is that, you know, doing it this way, you don't have to get the, you don't have to get the car up in the air. You don't have to crawl underneath it. Um, all that good stuff. Before starting the draining, you want to open up your uh, oil cap, derp. That will make everything go a lot faster. Mistake, man. Mistake number one. Okay, Marley, so the oil is taking a while to drain because of a mild screw up on my part. Um, Two mistakes. <laughs> so you want to uh, start the engine, let it run for like five minutes. That's every oil change ever. And every oil change video I've done so far has that part, I forgot that. It's her fault. Let's uh, no, let's check out the air filter, see if it's dirty. Fasteners here with our T25. Jill, we'll Jill, go Jill, ahead Jill. and loosen these up. You don't take them out, you just loosen them so that they're out like that. Mm -hmm. Ready to see what an air filter looks like? Yeah. Okay, let's pull this up. Oh, shiny. Uh, that's... Clean. Yeah, let's check, take a look. Oh yeah, that is very, there's, only a little bit of gunk. Frankly, I'm gonna go blow this off with some air and uh, put it back, that's super clean. I should probably turn on my uh, air compressor. Yeah, my dad made three mistakes now. 
<laughs> you have to squeeze this? Yeah, squeeze that. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very clean air filter. Can we you are. Just for a minute. What? You wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> I'll pick this up. You put it back in. Okay. Very good. Okay. That thing, Please. the glue kind of on it, it looks like honey. All right, so we push it down nicely like that. Okay. You'll see in the tube, bubbles will start to form. Just keep, that's when you're gonna have to start. Keep. Oh, here it goes. Keep pumping it for me, okay? Sounds like a broken record. Yeah, keep going. It's all the way down at the bottom there. Oh, ew, dirty. So there's some oil. That's it. So what you want to do is put that right on top of that like this. That. Okay, good. And nicely, with one hand here and the other hand here, twist it like that. There you go. Keep going. We'll have this right here. And we pull it out like this. There it is, there's the filter. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. Very dirty. Watch. All you have to do is just, it pops off like this. Like this. There we go. And that, we go throw in the garbage can. It's dirty! And I'll show our friends here. There's an O-ring along this cap. And we have to get a new filter. Yeah, we'll put that on. And the new filter comes with a new O-ring. It's oily! <laughs> it's like, it's like it's part of the oil filter or something. You yeah. said I could do it. I know, but I kind of just ended up doing it. Okay, another important part before we put the new filter on. <laughs> My hands are so oily. Here you go. <laughs> We're gonna just get a little bit of oil out of the top of the cap here and put it along that O-ring so it seals nicely. Yes. All you have to do is just push down. Okay. Okay, I'll hold it. There you go. So yeah, go ahead and screw it down in there. I'm way ahead of you. You're way ahead of me. Tighten it down by hand. And so it kind of feels like it's snug. So we're gonna to torque this down to 25 Newton meters. So like it. Oh, that's it right there. And then you're gonna adjust your torque wrench to be around right around 30 Newton meters, which is about right there. Okay. Bam, done. Okay, let's put the new oil in. The uh, We took five liters out. This is exactly five liters. So pretty much we're just gonna dump all of it in there. It's uh, not gonna be a problem. There we go. That's not disgusting. It looks like syrup. Whatever, look how clean it is. Yeah, but look how it looks like syrup. A good little tip is to hold the bottle sideways like this. That way you don't get like big like air bubbles that go blurp, blurp, and then the oil spills out. So we poured, let's do our first dipstick test. What do you think? Dipstick? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. And it kind of clips in like that. Now we want to pull it out, but pull it out slowly so it doesn't flick oil out all over us. Mm. <laughs> we are pretty close to full. I think, frankly, we want to pour the rest of it in. So you just pour all of it in. Yeah, we're going to pour most of it in. So that. Marley is how you change oil. I know. Great, so our oil change now is all done here on the TDI. I also went ahead and checked the coolant. You wanna use G12 or G13 coolant on your Volkswagen engines, um, and ours looks fine. I also went ahead and topped off the washer fluid. I like to use the Volkswagen um, uh, concentrate stuff that you uh, dilute with water. I don't know, it just smells really good. It, it, once you try it, you're gonna, you're gonna stay with it. Even if, frankly, if you have a Subaru or any other car, Get the Volkswagen stuff, or I think it's Volkswagen or Audi. It's the same like concentrate blue stuff. It is, it smells good. Anyway, uh, I also went ahead and disconnected the battery because uh, the next thing we're gonna do, while you wouldn't think you needed to disconnect the battery, there's actually a, um, a uh, power outlet back there that we're going to need to disconnect. So now let's move on to that. As you can see here, everybody, my dad has a very messy shop. I'm working on it, okay. Go ahead and open this and show me what we're gonna do next. Sticker. Sticker. We're gonna do, we're gonna fix the air vent I broke. 
Nice. How did it happen? I'm not mad, but how did it happen? Well, sometimes um, my foot just gets out of control, <laughs> and then it just goes, I'm gonna break something. Yeah, just let's just not do that again, okay? Next thing we have to do, let's remove all of the... <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Good job sneezing not on the mic. <laughs> uh, next thing we gotta do is we have to clean out the rear seat, get all of the kids' stuff out of here, okay? Ready? Let's go. Car, seat, removed. About to come. So apologies if the next section is kind of shaky. Marley and I are gonna kind of take turns holding the camera. Here is our broken vent. Uh, to get access to this, we're gonna have to remove some stuff. So what you're gonna want is a bone tool. This is to remove interior paneling and stuff like that. This one has from Volkswagen, but... It doesn't you know, look like a bone. It's, it is a bone. No, it isn't. It is. So here's that power outlet that we mentioned. That's why I had to disconnect the battery. So what we're gonna do is you do not want to use a screwdriver that will break stuff. So what we're gonna do, okay. And we kind of just pry very nicely. You do not want to rush this. You do not want to break anything. Almost. There we go. There. There we, we go. And pop out the other side. Oh! So right here, and right here, you're gonna see some little torque screws. So that's the next thing we're gonna have to do is remove those two screws. You getting a really good shot? Yeah. Are you making me look cool? Do I look really cool right now? Your hair's shiny. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, we, I went ahead and gave uh, Marley, the cameraman, a little bit of a break, but again, you're gonna wanna use your, your bone tool. And again, just, there's a couple clips and you just nicely want to pry those open Oh, there's one. There's another one down at the bottom. There we go. Boom. Apparently, to pop this out, if you turn it around, you see those little plastic tabs there? Yeah. Right there, right there, right there, right there. So apparently, you just kind of hold the main part and then kind of just twist and pop it out. See if you can do it. Let me get you started, okay? It's the shelves. <laughs> oh, wait. Did you guys watch the shelf video? <laughs> if you guys didn't, it will be... You'll find it. I'll link it. I'll link it somewhere. Okay. There we go. You Broken got, one. You got it out for me. Out. Make sure the foam doesn't break again. Yes, we... Oh, yeah, good point. Thank you, Marley. So, if you kind of see, foam is definitely very important. Uh, when it actually came out of the box, it was uh, it was disconnected right here, so we had to glue that. Yeah, it's super glue. It's glue it with super glue, yes. So, I'm lining up these little tabs right here. And then we want to check our... Yeah, working. Oh yeah, when I took off my seat, I also... I found my little bracelet. Shiny bracelet. <laughs> Alright, Marley, looks good. You ready to go put this back in? Mm-hmm, I'll follow you. Alright, cool, let's go. Ah, the sun! <laughs> it burns. It's like, oh, slide it down. Ooh, there we go. Pro tip. Bouncy. Are you being a good camera person? Yeah. Okay. Gotta get my foot out of the shot. There's me. There we go. That's this is done. me. This my hands is me. Okay. Back installed. So now you just have to put those two torque screws back in. We'll put our little uh, our little outlet cover sure. and our little door back on, which just clip back in, and uh, and then this job is done too. Okay, we can now uh, reconnect our battery. Okay, before Marley and I move on, I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to reset your tire pressure monitoring system. Yesterday, I went and put the uh, summer wheels and tires back on. You want to have your ignition on over here. You reach over. Up in the top right corner is the reset button. Hold that until the tire pressure light goes away. If it doesn't, sometimes warning lights stay on after disconnecting the battery for a while. Those lights usually go away with a short drive around the block. 
and I always forget how to do this on both my cars. Uh, so uh, I can now, instead of Googling it, I can watch my own video again in the future, is how to reset your service interval uh, alarm here on the dash. With our ignition off with the key in the ignition, we turn on our emergency lights. Then we hold down this reset button and flash this on like that. And then up here, you can see reset and our service is reset. Point that on my face. Ultimate power. Uh, <laughs> okay, so Marley here is holding our uh, pressure washer. Uh, first, we're gonna rinse the car, okay? Rinse the car first. Then we're gonna use the foam cannon. Foam cannon is this little guy right here and this awesome uh, Mr. Pink soap. Did you cover the entire car in suds, okay? And then after that, we're gonna use the washing uh, mitts. That's your soap mitt uh, bu bucket, and that's your rinse bucket. Dip your mitt in soap, then you wash, and you come back and rinse it, and then you get it with soap again until the car is clean. And then we rinse the car off and dry it. Sound good? Mm-hmm. Okay. School Uh, the car looks great. Thank you very much, Marley, for helping me. This was, I think, the best quarantine day I've had. So I appreciate your help. So high five. And Ripley, Aww. thank you for standing here for a little bit. Being cute. Hope you all are having a great day. Uh, enjoy your time at home and uh, enjoy your kids. Aren't kids a, a blessing? Oh, they're such a, <laughs> they're such a blessing. <laughs> this is so fun. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe, and, and uh, other things too. All right. <laughs> da, 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 Don't forget, da, uh, do it yourself. Take a clean one. Take a clean. Ew, you're sweaty. I am sweaty. <laughs>